Hi and welcome to an early week edition of uh, DRTV News. We are a bit earlier this week than usually because we're all going to Gamescom later on. So look forward to seeing plenty of stuff from there. Um, first story of the, the week is uh, QuakeCon was last week. QuakeCon is this annual uh, fan convention that its software throws where they hold a gigantic LAN party and invite a bunch of people and show off all the latest stuff. Uh, John Carmack, the uh, head uh, software uh, guru guy at uh, id Software, um, showed, uh, ha held his usual keynote speech and um, showed at, at that occasion showed off um, something brand new, namely the id Tech 5 engine or the Rage engine running at a smooth 60 frames per second on an iPhone. Yes, the iPhone is apparently as capable as your home console. Now, our initial reactions were, what? and how, and after thinking about it for a little while, we were, wait, what? Um, <laughs> but, you know, this is a guy who does uh, rocket science in his spare time. Speaking of Rage, um, Rage now has a release date, also released at QuakeCon. The game will be out September 15th in Europe in 2011. That's over a year from now. It's kind of weird that it is so early with their release date, especially uh, concerning that they're pretty much the company who invented the mantra when it's done. Um, the early Quake games were notorious for never having a firm release date and only sort of coming out when, hey, we're through. But no, times have changed. It is no longer an independent company. We don't know whether that has anything to do with it. But Rage, September 15th, 2011. Stalker is getting a sequel. The uh, action role-playing or shooting role-playing game from 2007 sold 4 million copies, so we guess it's not that big of a surprise that the sequel is coming, but it is. It was just announced over the weekend. We don't know a lot about it yet, but uh, developer GSC said that it's built on a brand new engine that's optimized for multiple platforms, which sort of indicates that the game might also be coming to Xbox and PlayStation 3. The first game was only for PC, so look forward to that. Um, Game journalists all over the world were <laughs> sad to hear the game comes out, not because there's anything wrong with Stalker, but the title has so many periods in its name that we hate writing it. But I guess we'll have to live with that. The new Death Bank might be on the way. The French Xbox Live achievement tracking site called Successful has taken up a bunch of achievements for something called Death Bank TOV. Now, we've never heard of that before, but um, the list of achievements include an achievement for killing Santa Claus, one for learning Japanese, and for sailing a pirate ship. If uh, you've seen early videos of Death Bank before the game was released, part of the game actually included the pirate ship. So, um, maybe it's a sequel, maybe it's an expansion, maybe it's a episodic, who knows. We don't know anything but the potential name Death Bank TOV, which is obviously short for something, but we don't know what. We don't know when, uh, we don't know where, but we're assuming this is about to happen because usually these kind of achievement lists are pretty legit. So um, here's hoping, because we love Death Bank. And finally, 2K Games has revealed the next game in the Bioshock series. The game is called Bioshock Infinite and does away with uh, the underwater city of the previous games in favor of this new amazing flying uh, city held up by balloons and propellers and lots of falling down apparently. Um, the game is developed at Irrational Games, who also did uh, Bioshock 1, whereas Bioshock 2 was handed over to one of the other departments of the 2K Games empire. Um, there's an amazing looking trailer out for the game, so check that out, and that's pretty much all we know at this point, but it looks good. So, there's that. That's all for this week, um, or for now at least. Uh, stay tuned for a bunch of Gamescom coverage later on in the week, and we'll see you soon.